guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Cassandra here, and if you're new, I post videos all on beauty and lifestyle, and just about anything that tickles my fancy, and if you click the notification bell and the subscriber button, you'll be up to date on everything that I post. So, I look slightly kind of crazy, but I decided I wanted to like race against time and film this video, because uh, as you guys may know, I love to film in natural daylight and I've been have I had these things and I wanted to talk about them so badly that they're like literally still in the packaging. So anyway, today's going to be a beauty video and it's going to be on the new Almay uh 24 hour velvet pool cream shadows. You guys, when I first saw these, you know when you see something and you get this crazy kind of high, it's almost like, it's like, you're like so excited about something that you just get really, really like, really, really like anxious and like you, you have to have it, you have to have it. Um, so I know I said that I've been trying to be like all minimalist and I am, I am, I have been de decluttering my makeup. However, I saw these and I just like, I literally had to have them, like I had to have them. So I bought two first. I think I bought two, these two first because I figured these were um, the two colors that I would use the most because I'm really into this kind of color right now. And then I went back and I had to like buy the other two. And let me just say that Alme is really kind of set, like really stepping up their drugstore, like their makeup um, collection. I noticed that with a lot of drugstore products, they're really, really like stepping up their like game when it comes to makeup um also i was one of those people that never used to shop from this brand because i just don't feel like buying from brands that don't make product for people that look like me um specifically my skin tone and skin color uh black people <laughs> um because Alme was always one of those brands that you could probably only use like their eyeshadow but you couldn't buy their foundation because their their foundation only went to like they always have like 50 shades of beige like you've never seen anything darker than that and um i noticed that they started having color foundation for my skin color and i was gonna buy the foundation but i was just like mm, i don't know i don't know um so i was gonna buy that foundation so i didn't buy it but i think i'm gonna buy it just to test it out for you guys just so you could see um and it's just great that brands are like coming out with like shades and being all inclusive. So, anyways, enough the enough of that. That video isn't about the foundation. So they came out with the 24 hour um eyeshadow, and these are just like are they supposed to be like eyeshadow base, or you could just use it as regular cream eyeshadow. And these remind me a lot of um I think L'Oreal. L'Oreal back in the day, I don't remember, um, had like little tubes of shadows like this because I remember buying them and I used to love them so, so much. So when I saw these, I was just like, I have to try it. Like, I have to try it. So I'm going to unpackage these because I've been dying to try them. Uh, the color that I was really most intrigued by is this color. It's called Ruby Glam. And I'm really into like colors like this for my eyes. And then when I saw the blue, I was like, I... I have to buy the blue, right? I just have to buy the blue. So I bought four colors. They had a total of, I want to say six or eight. And I just bought four because I didn't feel like spending any more money. Um, I spent around six to seven dollars each on these uh, product, which I guess would be a little bit more discounted because I bought it in my BX. Um, so I got a Lunar Disco, um, Ruby Glam, uh, out of the woods, which is a really nice um, brown color and a violet eyelet. Violet eyelet. Violet eyelet. So I'm going to take these out of the packaging just to see what they look like. The color I'm most excited about is Ruby Glam because I just love colors like this. Uh, and the tube, it's not metallic. It's actually plastic, a nice plastic tube. And let's see what this color looks like because I've been dying to try it. So, ooh, I guess I should just use my finger. Um, so this is what it looks like. Not very, um, I will say that there is oil on the top of the product, like some kind of oily base on the top of the product. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if the color is coming up. So that's what it looks like. It's not as rich as I expected it to be. So I'm a little bit disappointed, like a little bit disappointed on this. 
but the color is nice. It's just not what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more rich and a little bit more vibrant and I'm not getting it from this color, but I'm going to try it on my eyes anyways. So that was, what was that one called? That was a uh, Ruby Glam. Now to try, I guess I'll keep it in the purple-ish, um, cool-ish kind of family or whatever. Uh, so this is purple, what is this one called? Violet Eyelid. So here we go. I don't like the fact that when I squeeze it out, there's like this nice, disgusting, nice, there's this disgusting like film on top of it. I'm not a fan of it. So let's try this color. And this is called Violet Eyelid. Um, you would think me filming in sunlight would make this a little bit more better, but they look similar on camera, but this is more purple and this is more um, like a like a burgundy kind of color. They're not that rich or pigmented as I expected them to be. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel like I got all excited for nothing. And now I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. Mm. I feel like this video is going to be like an epic fail because I did on my makeup and I kept it very bare. Like I put nothing on my eyelids because I wanted to do a look on these. And the funny thing is the promo, um photo that they had. I'm probably going to insert it right here somewhere. The photo that they had with this lady, obviously, I mean, she's white. The sh colors are probably going to show up a little bit more different, but it, it made it look so, so rich. And that was why I was intrigued in buying it. Look at this. This has like a little bit of like oil on the top of it. Like that's kind of disgusting. Ugh, I hate that. Ugh, can I wipe it in something? Ugh, okay. Whoa, like more oils. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. Like how much oil is on the top before I could get the actual color? This is disgusting. Look at that. Like all I'm getting is like oils on the top. I'm like, did I get a bad batch or something? What is in here? I'm trying to figure out what kind of oil is in there, but the writing is so small. There's like a lot of oil in here. Okay, here we go. Finally, a little bit of color. Look at this. I'm not even joking. Like, that's just oil. That's not even like a good color. This is like an epic fail for all me. Like, what is this? Oh my god. This is so bad. Okay, here we go. Wow. Like, look at that color to the actual color in my hand and the camera I'm filming in natural daylight so the light is just what you see on my hand is what is coming out of the package and this is the color that it's supposed to be so when I first saw this color I actually bought two colors first and then I went back because I was like I have to get the blue because the, the model I believe was wearing the blue on her eyes and I was like okay I have to get the blue because I really want to try it and now I'm ha like I, on my hands it just looks very it looks it looks a little bit brighter in the video but um looking at it directly on my hand it's very muted it's not impressive at all and I'm very disappointed like I'm so mad I am so upset okay so the last color is called out of the woods um this color I actually had I hopes for let's see if it's gonna do that oily thing okay so it's not as oily as the the first one. I guess I'm going to try it right here. And again, very, very, very muted. Very, very muted brown. And to be really honest, out of all of the colors that I've tried uh, so far, this is probably the best one out of all of them. I don't even want to try any of this on my eyes, but I think I'm going to try the color that I wanted to try on my eyes. Um, first, it claims it's supposed to be 24 hours, but with the amount of oil that's coming out of it, I doubt it will be because typically when product is that oily, um, I have oily lids, but when product is that oily, I don't find that it lasts very, very long. In fact, it actually creases um, more. So I'm going to get like an eyeshadow brush 
just to try this out. I want something more synthetic based. Uh, I guess I'm going to try uh, my Real Techniques brush that I usually love to use. Um, it is a uh, high fiber synthetic brushes. So I guess let's come up closer in. Um, it is about to be winter. So obviously the lighting is going to be a little bit darker. Um, and I love to film makeup in natural daylight solely because I feel like you get the real pigment um, of the product. That's just what I tell myself uh, when I'm too lazy to set up my actual lighting. So let's see. Okay. It's coming off a little bit more purple on my eyes than the actual tube, which is very weird. It's a lot purpler. It comes off really, really purple on my eyes and it's not even that impressive. I'm very disappointed. I am very, very disappointed. Like I had eye hopes for this. I don't know if you guys could see that. Like I'm very disappointed. Like I'm so mad. Like there's nothing more um, annoying than when you have like a high expectation for a product only for it to like really, really epically fail you. And this is like epically failing me. I don't even know if I want to continue with this review. So yeah, but I'm going to keep this on my eyelids. I don't don't think I'm going to do anything extra to it. Usually I will like try to put other eyeshadows and do a look. I'm not even going to do a look with this. I don't, I'm not, I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this. I am not here for this. So let's go back out. Um, where did I put the cover? Eh, where is the cover? Oh, here we go. And look at this wash of the blue that's still on my hand. It's still oily. It's still runny. I expected it to dry down to like a, like a nice, um, thick consistency formula, but it's not doing that for me. And I'm just not here for it. Uh... What I will do is I'm going to leave a review, um, a full written review down in the descri description box as well. Uh, this claims to be 24 hours, but I'm going to tell you guys from the formulation of it. I don't think it will last 24 hours. I don't even, personally, I wouldn't wear my makeup 24 hours anyways, because that's just disgusting. But from the formulation of it, I'm going to tell you that it's not even, it's not even that. And the formula is saying that it's supposed to be a velvet foil cream eyeshadow. On the back, uh, it says that it's ophthalmologist, te ophthalmologist tested, hyperallergenic. Um, it's not really given much description of the product. Well, on the box it says, high intensity, high intensity, <laughs> High intensity. Okay, you know what the word is. I have um aligners on my teeth, so sometimes like it sounds like I'm I'm talking with the lips. That's my excuse for not saying the word correctly. But it's saying it's supposed to be high intensity, <laughs> intensity, high color. Okay, crease smudge and fade proof. Um, and it's saying apply with fingertips and blend thoroughly. Um, fingertips and then. <laughs> Fingertips or synthetic brush, I feel like you're going to get the same results regardless. Um, but I'm not feeling this at all. Like, I am not feeling this at all. So, I'm going to say that these um, Almay Velvet Full Cream, they tried it. They tried. They tried. But it's just an epic fail for me. I'm not even going to continue with this. I'm probably just going to put some mascara on my eyes and call it a day. Uh, so this is what it looks like on my eyes. Like you could barely even see the color. Like where is the eye intensity color? Where is it? You not like it's not there. Like where is it? It's like it's playing a game of Amelia Earhart. Where is she? We don't know. Like what is going on? Like this is just <laughs> I'm so bad. There's nothing worse than when you spend your money on something and it just turns out to be trash. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching my Epically Fail review of this product. At least you guys know that um, what it is. The product costs, um, I'm going to say average 7 to $8 depending on where you live. I bought mine at my BX so it was a little bit um, cheaper. So I spent around 680 something for one. 
which are it's not really that bad of a price if the product was good but because the product is horrible I just want my money back uh, but anyways uh, that's it for that video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like rate comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye guys okay uh, side note this is just gonna be an add-on to the last video um, it's important to note that I did try to wash this thing off my hand and it really wasn't going anywhere um, so I guess for stain power, it's not that bad. However, because the color doesn't show up how I want it to be, I still wouldn't recommend this product even if it stayed on my eyes 24 seven. Cause I mean, what is the point of having a product that stays on your eyes 24 seven if it's just not that visible anyways? So that's my review on that product. Um, you guys could try it out. I like, I really try not to be critical of products, um, but that's just my honest review of it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. I love y'all. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you guys try it out, if you like it, let me know. Uh, it's always great to like get a difference of opinion. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.